going to be Cyber Gamer Season 3. It's the first Cyber Gamer game I've uh, managed to catch this season. And this is the upper bracket final between uh, Demon Esports and uh, Trick Jump. We're going to start here on Supply. Here we go, Trick Jump. Starting off on attack, we're going to see Velka pick me up to pick up a kill. Nice artillery on the main road. Double artillery, in fact. That's going to be very, very hard for the allies to push past. The kills are going to come out from the Axis reasonably soon. I would have thought they are pushing out a little bit. Here come the kills, but they're going to have no room to really push forward. As uh, a couple of the trick jump guys actually do make it to the front of the, uh, front of the main area of uh, the first stage, the lower area. Team Kill Nade comes out. Oh, you're cool. This place uh, kicks down the... Rocky Balboa there. Adrian as uh, team kills coming out left, right, and center. Not very good start for either team, really. Although uh, the Axis will probably be the happier of the two. Yoko does pick up a double frag. He is on the rifle grenade. Uh, very, very uh, good good uh, SMG, but we're going to see Shaman pushing with the nade. The, the nades have been awful. The nades have been awful. We've seen so many team kills already. And uh, that, that nade from Shaman, yeah, not, not great. Not great. They just need to settle a little bit, the allies. Some of the axis now. I'm watching uh, Woot in this uh, Woot in this lower area. He's going to have to pick up that frag, get those mines down. So looks like the axis are settling a little bit. 13:37, just past on the clock. It's a very special time. Close to our hearts. The dynamite has been dropped. Oh, cool. is dropped down. Woot has been taken out for full spawn, and the push is coming in. Three kills coming in though for Demon, and uh, they've managed to clean up this first stage. Nice start again for Demon on that respawn. They are uh, taking some risks. They are all spawning at the same time. Um, no one's really staying in position. And that can really uh, affect you. That that dynamite getting put down, not planted. Oh, cool! Does pick up a double frag. Another push out comes from the Axis. And again, four or five guys maybe going to spawn in at exactly the same time. Going to allow the allies a little bit of freedom to push in a little, maybe. But the frags do come out. Frag sealer will again pick up a couple of frags. And uh, demon first stage is already. Uh, Dragged a couple of minutes off the clock. Belka's trying to ping a couple of rifles into potential hide spots for the allies. Seems like Sepes is on that mobile. We did see him use the mobile quite a bit at the, the Reborn Land and, and Thomas beforehand. Hunter does become a double frag on the respawn of the allies. Sepes taken down as well, so looks like Demon are in uh, full control at the moment. There's uh, no real uh, pressure being put on at the, uh, at the opening couple of minutes. The uh, did get a couple of guys into the lower area trick jump. I'm gonna pick them up, see how they're doing. Hunter again picking up a double frag with the MP40 this time. And uh, Demon have pushed out. They have managed to uh, take one or two down, but they are losing a couple of guys and they might allow the uh, allies to bounce into this lower area. The respawn is coming in in five seconds for, for Demon, but frags do come in. Jin, Dialer, and Wurt picking up three frags very quickly, and that's gonna again just give uh, the Freedom Belker things off a rifle grenade as well on that respawn. And this first stage is looking very much in the uh, in the demon demon's hands at the moment. Three minutes already off the clock. It, it's been a very long three minutes to be fair. A lot of pressure being put on by Trick Jump, but they're not really getting very far. I don't think they've really made it into this lower area just yet. Um, the respawn has come in. Dyla does pick up that frag onto Oyoko, who did try and get into lower area on, before that respawn came to drop down. Rifle grenade does come in. Yoko does get taken, uh, take one down with the rifle, and they have maybe made some some ground in this lower area. Frags are going to come in though. We've got Jin dropping down, picking up the double frag with the MP40, and Shaman and uh, Shirt Clock, I've been told, has been uh, dropped down. And as uh, you see, nice double headshot comes in from Dyla. And uh, Trick Jump doesn't really have the numbers to, to follow this up. Unlucky grenade from Dyla. I'm going to try and pick up uh, Yoko in the lower area. He does decide to kill out. Probably the safer move. Rifle does come out again from Belka on that respawn. And there uh, you see the rifle getting lined up from Yoko. not going not gonna to hit his target. Big three or four man push coming into the lower area now. Uh, so I think one player from the, jumped down from the cave. Maybe Yoko's going to be able to make it up. I think he is out on full spawn, oh, full spawn there. As you see Dyla pick up that double frag in the lower area as well. And uh, at the moment, it does look like Trick Jump just like bouncing down to their deaths. Maybe, maybe Oyo can be able to pick up a frag on that respawn. Nope. Not this time. Lots of frags again coming out for Demon. And the moment, Trick Jump just seem, seem to be slightly uh, outmatched. So I heard that a mile away. He should have uh, just waited back a little bit. Artillery has gone down on the main road as well. As I just randomly sneeze again. 
Only when I stream, only when I stream ET, do I sneeze. As uh, Nate's gonna be popped up onto the middle area. And again, more team kills come out, Shaman, taking down Oyo Cool. And uh, Demon holding on. Five minutes, already gone off the clock now into those single digits. Nice shooting from Woods. He is gonna pick up a bit of damage onto this upper area as well. And it's Edo getting dropped down, nice. Pistol headshots, but it's gonna be Belka with those uh, double K43 for Oregon. The aggression from Demon's gonna continue. They're going very. Very uh, heavy push on the before the respawn, and that's just to just to push them back a little bit, stop them from being able to bounce down into the lower area so freely. And again, a, a poor nade from uh, your call. He's gonna unwittingly jump on Woods' uh, landmine as well. Gonna get taken down again. As you see, another landmine get put down. And Demon playing. Look at this, very aggressive. Ten seconds before the respawn, and three guys have already pushed well out. Uh, maybe Oyo Cool going to be able to make it into that low area. The dynamite has gone down. He has been dropped down by Dialer, who was uh, still alive in that low area. And uh, he's just going to hold on. And you need at least one player to be doing this. You need one player to be playing this Dialer role, which is just like staying alive regardless of ammo, regardless of anything. Just to slow down the push. Just to stop that engineer from getting a free plant in. And, uh, he's doing great work just ready. Look at him. He's just def defending his engineer. Just needle out ready to, to get those... Uh, Revives in. Edo did make some moves on towards the flag. He was very close from picking it up. But Demon have managed to hold on again. The truck has been pushed well forward. Lots of frags again coming in for Demon. But it does look like maybe some uh, some uh, reasonable... Oh, that's so unfortunate. There's still a medic alive. Jin does get in that double revive. So five, five players again alive for, for the Demon team. And... Uh, truck is in position to just give so much cover to these guys in the lower area but they have got a lot of frags in this lower area they may be going to be able to get the plant down the uh, trip jump team but again they are making their moves into the lower area but they're not really taking full control a couple of guys just dancing around outside packing up and going in in ones and twos getting taken down demon again getting a, a few frags in this lower area as we see uh, frag stealer nearly caught with his packs out so so many uh, frags coming in for Demon, all spread across as well. Look at that! No one really picking up any sprees. Just uh, everyone getting a frag or two a piece. Nice double rifle grenade comes out Ryoko just before the respawn, unfortunately. So seemingly all six players of Demon are going to respawn back in. And uh, again, like I say, they've got the truck cover here. This is almost definitely. I'd, I'd say this is going to be very very hard for Trip Jump now because of the the truck moved into low area. It's going to be almost impossible to uh, to break it down. This is so, so much cover. You can see them hiding behind the truck, and no real Panzer use as well at the moment. Hasn't really uh, given them that, that big boom um, on the respawn, which can, uh, you know, just even if you get lucky, you can get like a two-man. Oh, this could be a big grenade. Unfortunate for Sebhes, he just misplaced it. He got quite a lot of damage there on towards one of the Axis medics, and he yeah, did eventually get taken down. Yoko's going to bounce down into the truck area. He's going to get taken down. Yoko get, did get a double frag, and. Demon again picking up so many frags. The revives are coming in, but it's just adding to the frag totals of uh, to the Demon team in the end. And uh, it looks very one-sided right now. And the flag did get snuck. Nice little sneak. Whoever did that, well played. As uh, that's going to give uh, Trick Jump a slight chance, a very very small chance. As uh. I'm going to sneeze again, sorry about this, as uh, the uh, plant has gone down in the lower area, um, the allies have managed to get hold of that flag, six minutes remaining, and uh, Axis just have to keep their heads now, they, they've only got six minutes to hold on, they've done such a good first stage, nine, just about nine minutes, you're, you're in a situation you really don't want to give up any time, you want to get that full hold on the board, you don't want to be in, uh, in a situation of a... Uh, Giving them any time. You don't want even a 14 minute 50 time. You want a full hold. Guaranteed. Um, no map loss there. Spam going down on that crossroad. And uh, we're going to see what these guys can do from the CP. I'm just going to blow my nose because, yeah. There we go. As uh, a nice double artillery comes out from Hunter, he is going to be able to. Take down a couple of guys, unfortunately, just before the respawn. Hopefully, they those guys manage to make it back in. Otherwise, the Axis will be very happy here. I'm going to try and sp uh, switch up to some of the allies. They weren't making too much progress on that first stage. It was very hard to spectate them. They were just dropping like flies. 
And this tunnel push isn't doing too bad at the moment. They've got a three-man push there. The calls are going to be coming out, though. Oh, your call has been dropped and gibbed. As uh, one more player is alive, Edo. He's going to be able to pick up that Sepes revive. Five minutes remaining on the clock, as we just heard. And uh, does look like these guys are going to be a big enough distraction. Uh, the pushes onto the main road are going to help them out quite a bit. Plant is going to go down. Nice double headshot from Edo comes in. Plant does go down on that main door. And they've got a very slim chance here of getting a, a time on the board. We see the truck has been moved up as well. And they just need to get their hands on that CP. No access have respawned just yet. As uh, it does look like they caught them out quite for quite a long spawn. That was about 10 or 15 seconds there. So well played by Trick Jump. Their first stage was... Wasn't too great. They did manage to get their hands on the flag after about eight and a half, nine minutes, but yeah. the demon team just have to hold on again, like I say. Only a minute has gone past, pretty much a minute and a half, and they've managed to pick up that main that main door. And uh, nice shooting coming in from Frag still. He does manage to pick up one. Belka supports him with that grenade frag as well. Arty on the main area from Hunter again. A lot of damage getting taken from Hunter. Frag Steelers on hand to get in that kill revive if needed. As uh, you're going to see them get the plant down on west. No real action going on there at the moment. Lots of spam coming into the main area. Belka does pick up that double frag. As, uh, Trick Jump just need to get themselves uh, positioned. This is a nice little uh, idea from uh, from Yoko here. Can he get one on the respawn? He does. Frag Steeler taking down a nice little shot. And he nearly takes down Dyla as well. But loads of kills coming in. Whoop picks up the double frag. And so does Dyla. And uh, that's another entire spawn of Trick Jump just dealt with by the uh, Polish team. As we see uh, right now. Yeah. I was locked out for a split second. As we see uh, Jin just defending this east area. He's got a lot of mines to help him out. Uh, the push is coming in. Yoko has managed to destroy one of those mines. I believe there are at least one or two. Charmin, the double uh, grenade on that respawn might help them out. Hunter and... Uh, Belka both taken down. That's a lot of spam in the field up and the uh, and the rifle. But Jin's got a couple of guys to deal with. They are falling back. Nice shot by Edo. He has got one more to deal with in this low area. The rifle has gone up. I believe that's Yoko going up to build the uh, the uh, controls. And it does look like they're going to be able to get the the gold in the back of the truck. Will they be able to set a time? This would be quite unbelievable because the first stage was so bad. And they'll just be uh they'll be kicking themselves if they do set a time of like 13, 14 minutes. Because they, if they only they had a decent first stage, they would have, uh, they would have maybe set, I don't know, maybe a 10 minute time. It's not impossible. As you see, uh, 2 minutes 17 left on the clock. This is very defendable for the Axis. As we see the Allies going quite aggressive towards this east area. And they have managed to get a bundle of kills. The truck is being moved on. Brilliant artillery there on the front of east corner. It might be a bit too early. The strikes are going to go down just before the truck hits it. But another airstrike actually gets dropped out. Nice play. From, uh, from that build up. It's just going to push a couple of guys away. Shaman does pick up that double frag at the back area. As you see, uh, again, Dyla actually replying with a double frag of his own. The truck is still moving a little bit. It is going through the main area. Seb Hess is in the back. And I think they're going to be able to set a pretty decent time, all things considered. It's going to be about a 13 and a half, 13 minute, 50, 50 seconds time. And considering the first stage was a 9 minute hold, this is a pretty good recovery from Trick Jump. And they can uh, get themselves quite fortunate, I think. That they ain't set, set a time at all. And like I said, Demon will be quite disappointed with this. I think they kind of expected to have a, a full hold in the bag. And uh, to take a minute and a half off the clock isn't that big a deal. But at least you know that if you defend for 13 and a half minutes now, 13 minutes 44, that you'll have a map win. You don't you don't want to have a full hold and, uh, and uh, the, the best you can get out of it on defense is a draw. So now they can actually get a map win, the Allies. Trick Jump can get the two points on the board. Um, Axis, like I say, will be quite disappointed because, yeah, they probably thought that was an easy, easy uh, full hold. It's going to bring up the scores. It's going to be quite one sided, I would have thought. What's picking up 38 frags, 5.4k damage? Uh, 25 to 20, not as uh, one sided as I thought it would be, but uh, nearly 50% uh, more frags uh, on the Axis. But uh, the, the Gibbs, uh, not, not too close either, uh, not too far away even. So not too bad overall, but to be honest, they just took them such a long time to break down that that flag defense. And we're now going to see the, uh, the Axis. We're now trick jump. Try and defend for enough time. As, uh, 
They have about 13 and a half minutes to do it. I think they need to f defend this first stage. I'd say for about four or five minutes to give themselves a good chance. Four guys sitting on this middle area. Right off the bat, maybe a big, big cave push coming in. Shaman expected that with no one really showing themselves on the upper area. He does pop a nade down. And there's no one going to be in a position. Serpair's paying this uh, aggressive field up in, on the middle. He's going to try and get as much damage as possible. He does eat a nade from Wood there. A lot of damage coming in. Long range shooting. They're not going to let him take too much control of this first stage. As uh, you see, a couple of the uh, allies still sat around on that back area. No revive coming in for Serpair's just yet. Shaman has just gone into position. And we do see Yoko in the upper area, kind of standard rifle grenade position. He is going to spam a couple of grenades down. He's dropped a nade on that respawn. He might be able to... And no revive is going to come in for him. We're going to see uh, Demon not really doing much so far on this first stage. A lot of long-range shooting. They've, a minute has gone on the clock already. Nice uh, nice shot there from Jin. Shooting through the smoke of the arty. As uh, they have got a panzer. And uh, Dyla, he's going to get boosted up. I'm going to try and take it from first person perspective. As uh, the next spawn of the Allies Axis will be coming in fairly soon. Oh, he's on the MG. And we did see Sepes doing the same. So Sepes should be aware of the power of this uh, uh, of this uh, MG. Double frag does come in. Triple frag indeed. As uh, the push comes in. Shaman's going to get taken down. Four kills coming in for Dyla. And... Uh, at the moment, Demon not really doing much to, to uh, take take control of this first stage. Like I said, a lot of shooting. Spam has come in, though. And this should maybe open up, it up for them. But, again, don't really see them making too much uh, progress. They are pushing into this lower area. Here they come up the stairs. Hunter maybe going to get his hands on that flag. The plant has gone down as well. And uh, they've got to defuse this. And I don't think they've got any engineers left alive. As uh, I think the Axis will probably give this up now. You'll probably see a mass spawn back. Uh, that's, uh, that's a good play. That's a good idea from from Trick Jump. They uh, they managed to get two minutes off the clock. Not not the best amount of time, but um, to be honest, they had to fall back. They have to get a decent CP defense now. If they can get again, like I say, another two or three minutes here. They just need to get two or three minutes on every big stage. They get two or three minutes at CP, two or three minutes at main gate, two or three minutes up top, and then it's going to be hard with the truck. They only one of them needs to be a big hold. If they get a can get a very good big hold and then they've got it but it's going to be very very hard for them demon very very strong he's going to see the demon team start pushing across the top they have been a bit lax at the moment uh, they only really got it on their first big push lots of kills come in for trick jump though no reply from demon and that crossfire is uh looking mean as you see oh you're cool picking up a triple kill i think on that on that on that stage it was indeed a triple as you see uh the Demon players start pushing across. They have got the artillery spam to deal with as well. A nicely timed. It's going to get a double frag, I'm sure. That, oh, there comes one. Sebes picks up the frag onto Belko. The respawn is going to come in for the rest of the Demon team. Another artillery support goes down, I think. Uh, that's a bit bit late, but it might uh, bait them in a little bit. As uh, we see a couple of frags coming in from the cave area as well. The rifle is in position. Yoko trying to slow them down. Four-man push on towards the cave. And they're jumping down. Seb has, Seb has, has been taken down as well. Nice revives from uh, Demon. They've got one more player to deal with. Shaman. He is going to get support from the players at CP. But it does look like... Uh, oh, Fragster is going to get taken out by his team. Teammates uh, support fire. He's not careful. As you see, Trick Jump picking up all the kills again. They have two seconds on that respawn. And we're going to see uh, Fragster just be a bit sneaky here. He's just going to... Wait it out, try and catch someone out, dropping down, thinking they've all killed out. And he is going to be able to maybe catch out Yoko. Yoko, very, very weak there. He took him out in one bullet. Hunter's going to support Fragstealer, like pushing through the tunnel once more. And the respawn of Trick Jump's going to come in. They're going to lose this CP, but they have held on to it for, for two minutes. That's uh, job done. They need to just put a decent defense on this main gate now. They need to, someone needs to take control and just say, give up CP and now concentrate on main, main gate. As uh, they can't lose uh, main gate too quickly. Uh, you see, CP has been destroyed. It will be uh, in allied hands very shortly. The respawn will come in for allies at that CP. A couple of guys missing out on that um, forward spawn area, but the next spawn it won't be so uh, so fragmented on that respawn. So you see, them again making very slow progress. The Demon team not really moving as if with any real urgency at the moment. They think they've got a lot of time on their hands. Uh, they have taken every stage in two or three minutes, to be fair. Plant his going down on main. The frag has come in, though. And uh, no uh, no dynamite planted for the allies just yet. I can't see another engineer. 
as uh, the Dunlop actually does get planted on this main area. And Trick Jump do have an opportunity to go for this Diffuse. It's it, uh, planted just around their spawn time. So they know that their next spawn, they'll be able to spawn in in time. They just need to get in a couple of frags here. And they have indeed nice revives coming in from Shaman. But uh, he doesn't manage to pick up that, that second revive there. Oh, you're all in position. Maybe to get this uh, the Diffuse in. He has got a couple of uh, medics as backup. Three seconds for that. And they're going to kill out. They have to kill out. Shaman, double dynamite kill. That is awful from, from Trick Jump. They needed to kill out there. And that was perfect timing for their respawn. They, they knew they could have they had one chance to risk it. And they could just kill out. But they didn't kill out. And we've got three guys from Trick Jump out. Big frag from Yoko. He's going to be able to save the day there. But I don't think it's going to be enough. As I think one more player alive. It is so you're cool. He has managed to build that back area, and he's going up top to try and uh, try and save the day for his uh, trick jump team. He has managed to take down Belko just as the controls got built. As uh, Wood's going to push up again, brilliant double frag from Oyo Cool, but I think it's going to be too much. As uh, Hunter's going to push through, he's going to be able to press the button as well. And can't pick pick up Hunter as he doesn't actually manage to press the button in time. I don't think. As the truck did get into position before he got there, so uh, I'm not sure if they've got a cover up. They haven't, so. Uh, the next spawn of uh, the Axis will be key. Will they pick up that Covey or will they try and plant it? As I think you see Oyoko going quite aggressive. The respawn has come in. Uh, they have got a Covey now. It is indeed Oyoko. He's going to be able to make it up the top. Brilliant frag from Oyoko. Did sort of uh, save his team. Slow down Hunter even just momentarily with his face. As uh, you see he's going to destroy the uh, the upper controls. He's actually waiting. I'm not sure he's, what he's waiting for. As uh, he's... Managed to destroy the uh, the controls. He's going to just put a few nades down and go aggressive to respawn in. Probably as a, a medic, I would have thought. Here he is. And he's, the defense is going to try and set up in that upper area. They have to hold on for a very long time. Seven minutes. Frags have come in on that respawn as well. Belka and Jin both picking up frags. And uh, it's just slowing these trick jump guys down on the stairwell, or stairwell area. But they have managed to make it themselves... Uh, get, get into position for up top defense nade team kill nade's gonna come down maybe no 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 frag big rifle grenade actually in the upper area belka shooting that from the uh, main gate and uh, i think demon probably gonna be able to move in as uh, shark up does pick up one frag get a lot of damage onto the second player but the revives are coming in for allies they are down to pistols as you see oh cool picks up a frag shaman nice double frag revive comes in as well and it's a two one two one two scenario as uh We've got a couple of dead allies lying about. They have tapped out. And uh, it does look like it's going to be overrun situation in a second. Oh, you're cool. Big Luger frag. Shaman triple kill. A lot of support there from Oh, you're cool. And that is going to be uh, the end of that push. And I was I was almost counting. Oh, what though? Oh, you're cool. Killed out. And Shaman just uh, taken out of the game. As uh, they, they did so well in that. In that uh, in that last little hold, I think they had to kill like six guys. The revives, loads of revives came in. But uh, again, he's just going to look back. This whole supply is going to be very key on that, that first stage on their attack. It took them so long to get that flag. It's, it's affected everything. It's affected their defense. You know, they effectively, they, if you took like three minutes off this time, there'll be two minutes remaining with the truck to move. If they just, even if they got in six minutes rather than the nine minutes it took them. On, the, on their attack. Only five so you only have to look back to that one stage. And sometimes it can go like that in ET. One stage can be defended for so long that it's almost impossible to recover. That was a good attempt. They've uh, managed to defend for about 10, 11 minutes. Uh, coming up against a very, very strong team in Demon. Uh, a bunch of guys who have played together quite a lot. Um, obviously, they're all Polish as well. So that does help in terms of communication. A bit of an international lineup for... Uh, for trick jump, a lot of mixed nations there, which can sometimes uh, hurt you as a team. We're going to see uh, the first map going to Demon. Last man alive is Yoko. He is going to be able to pick up that kill, but that's only going to slow things down just momentarily as the truck is going to push on towards main. Uh, the next respawner, trick jump, is going to do their best, but I don't think anyone's ever held it for this sort of time with the with the truck just at main. There's a brilliant shot there from Jin. Going to shut down. Uh, Rocky Balboa, aka Sherlock, on that on that east side of the map. Franks are coming in for a couple of the uh, trick jump players, but like I say, this is going to be a map win. They are taking their time with it though, but it's going to be a map win for, for the uh, Demon team. And I'm not sure what the second map is just yet. 
uh, I hazard a guess it's going to be supply. Uh, sorry, if it's supply, it's going to be gold rush and, and radar as a second map. Medic. One of the two. I'm not sure how it goes in terms of picking maps. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Getting a couple of kills onto the stat numbers. The truck has finally moved in. Ah, took their time. Took their time. As I see, 10 minutes 21 was the time they held for. And again, like I say, 13.34, uh, 13.44, 9 minutes of that 13 minute 44 time was a flag hold. So in 4 minutes of 44 seconds, they did CP main. They built up top on the controls. They got the truck all the way around and, and home. In, in four minutes and 44 seconds. If that first stage was three minutes, you know, that would have been a sub 10 minute time. And uh, that 10 minute defense would have been enough. So we are gonna go to Adenest. I'm gonna update the scores on the screen. I'll uh, just bring up the stats for you guys. You can uh, browse those while I just update the scores. As it's gonna be a two to zero lead for, uh, for the Demon team. And uh, I'd say in the end it was very well deserved. You you can't really take much away from them. They uh, when you've when you've defended for that sort of time, they did seem to be taking their time on the stages. But when they did their big push, they had full control. When they took the flag, it was their first really big solid push as a team. Before it looked like they were doing a very long setup period, um, taking their time a little bit maybe. But it's just if that first if that first big push doesn't work, then it can take you a bit of time to get in that position again. So look at the frags, 56 coming in for Woods, 7.9k damage, Hunter with 8k damage as well, lots and lots of damage from those two, uh, 43 and 44 to a prior, Oyakul playing really good, uh, we've got a couple of nice double frags there, as uh, we see a couple of the other players picking up big damage and big frags as well, pretty decent spread for both teams, 36 to 40k, but we are now on to Adlinus, it's a 2 to 0 lead for Demon at the moment, Paz is going to come out, he's going to be able to pick up one Hunter drop down, and we're going to have the Demon team on the attack first, Trick jump are going to try and set up their defense on this first stage uh, as much as possible. And so you see again, like I say, Demon just seemingly very, very take, you know, lacks, just lacks, very lazy. Or well, not, I wouldn't say lazy, it's just very, very, uh, they're all doing the same thing. You can't say anything about it. The second the kill outs come in uh, for Axis, they're going to make their move. But here comes the push from Axis, and you'll see a couple of them start killing out very soon. Lots of kills coming in though though from Demon. Initially open up the stage. You'll see probably see an engineer put a dynamite down very soon. Woods has dropped that down. No panzer, no rifle coming down, so it is gonna be a plant for Woods and the Demon team. And now they've got them caught up on that ramp, and it's gonna be very hard for the Axis to even just get anywhere near the dynamite, let alone defuse it. As uh, you see a lot of uh, a lot of gunfire coming in from the Demon team, picking up a couple of frags with that the nades as well. Dyler picking up a nade and and uh, yeah, it looks like the rest of the players are just sort of uh, playing it for the spawn time they know they're not going to really make it that far and so the respawn's going to come in for trick jump just got to be aware of the the possibilities of a sneak through <laughs> as shaman uh, jumps in the air and, and has an, a, a rifle nade go off beside him it's for a little fly quite a few of the uh demon players going towards that cp trying to pick up that forward spawn i'm gonna have the engineer in in Yoko trying to start, slot that down, uh, slow that down, should I say? But they have managed to pick up that CP. Big rifle grenade comes out. Nice reply from Yoko. He has managed to pick up a double frag. But that's only going to slow them down momentarily, as you see a couple of revives coming in. And Axe is going to be caught up in the area they really don't want to be. That that window area. Nice push through from from Sherlock and Oyoko. They have managed to make it into the objective room, which is uh, very important. If you get all caught up in this window, so many, so easy for nades and rifle grenades to just get, pop through. And uh, Yoko has been dropped down on the rifle grenade. Uh, been doing some pretty good work, and uh, they're going to miss him at this stage. Uh, the, the ping shots off the off the walls are very easy to do. As you see, a couple of the uh, demon players maybe taken down for full spawn. Frag Stealer and Jin, and um, just get dropped down. So it's a uh, very very uh, skirmish like at these documents, kind of standard here on uh, here on Adlinest. Uh, demon not really managing to break through at the moment. The uh, trick jump players doing a good job just slowing this down. Oh, of course, going to be able to push out. Just like walks over a couple of teammates' uh, grenades. I think one of them is even his own. And now they're going to just try and get some early information. You're going to see killouts coming in again from from Chick Jump and Demon. Maybe able to get their hands on the objective here. One player has made it into the the, the room, and they're going to go off in a mad chase. Sepes has managed to take down the objective through the door. Nice secure. Sepes uh, 
on hand. I think he had a bit of help in that doorway as well. And uh, already this has actually been a pretty good time. Three minutes on the clock. Isn't too bad. As you're going to see a pause come out for the Axis. Not sure what this is about. Uh, but so far, so good. As, uh... Prepare to fight. <laughs> We're going to see uh, the Unpause coming in. And... Uh... Demon pushing to just try and set a, a, a reasonable time. Anything under five minutes is generally decent on uh, on Adlernest. And you can set incredible times on Adlernest, two, three minutes to be fair, but see what happens. Uh, trick jump. Doing a pretty decent job at, at this uh, first stage. Another pause comes in for Axis. Not sure what's going on here. As, uh... This what happens. Griziek in chat. Yo, Merlin. What's up, my man? Hope you're all uh, enjoying some ET. We haven't had an ET for a little while. I didn't um, didn't cast any ET last week. There weren't really any games on that I was uh, interested in. We have a couple of tournaments that have been announced. That looks good. Uh, I think it's a uh, ET United tournament, like the ma a main major tournament that has been announced. They do weekly cups, but most of the time I probably won't be able to pick up those. I might be able to pick up the old one now and again. Um... But um, the big tournament featuring a lot of the teams that went to the LAN event as well, Reborn LAN. Prepare to fight. As, uh, that should be quite good to watch. And that'll be happening, uh, I believe, the group stage is the 17th and the 24th of this month. So I'll be fight. picking up a couple of games there. I can't pick up them all up, unfortunately. Uh, let me see what I can do. As it has been on pause, then the, uh, next, uh, the next push from Demon has been dealt with again. By a trick jump, they have managed to get out Dyla for full spawn as well. And attacking a mad list is is quite easy, to be fair. But when you're attacking with, you know, not six players against six players, that is uh, that is not so easy. As you see, the kill out, kill outs coming in. Yoko's grenade, he timed that to perfection. Just to just to bait them in with the kill out and uh, slash kill. As you see a couple of guys trying to push through in the pit area, and at the moment, Demon really struggling here on Adler Nest. As uh, Hunter and Dyla are going to be able to pick up a couple of frags, but. They're not going to last too long. Hunter is dropped down. Dyla is uh, dancing around his pit area, I believe. And uh, what it was actually is, I think Hunter and Dyla maybe. I'm not sure where he's gone. Here he is at the back stairs. He is. It's still. He is still there in position. As uh, a couple of the trick jump players are trying to move forwards. Uh, again, they're not doing too bad. It just uh, seems to be a bit, like I say, a big skirmish. No real positional play. Just a uh, push, kill, repeat. As uh, you see someone push through the door, it was Dyla. He managed to push through the door after taking down Sherlock, so he's going to be able to push through that, that window, maybe get his hands on the objective. And we should see a, a, a grab here. Seb has last man alive in the room. He's going to get taken objective down or his kill out, and I don't think the, the chase is going to be on for here for trick jumpers. You're going to see them push through towards the transmitter. And uh, the, uh, the, so far, this has been very good. A first stage defense and, and a dox defense of five minutes is actually pretty impressive here on Adonest. Um, we saw some really, really fast times at the Reborn land. Some like three minute times coming in. As that map was played quite a lot. Um, but in the 16 or 6 tournament. Objective lost. As, uh, I think we even had like a three minute time in the grand final. Which was, uh, which uh, sealed the deal for Rocket. And we're not going to see that for Demon. And they need, really need to get as, as fast a time as possible on the board. Because they've already wasted a lot of time. Trick Jumper. Look really good at the moment. And if, if it was Picks, maybe this was uh, Trick Jump's pick. Very, very sensible pick. It seems they seem very strong on it at the moment. And uh, we see Demon pushing down from the CP area. They've got a couple of guys to deal with. Sherlock does get in the frag, but he is taken down. Sebhe's perfectly timed grenade he does insta give Dyla, but it has been completely opened up, and the objective should come through. What is going to be able to set up a 5 minute 52 second time, which is. Which is infinity! Which is infinity on Adelaide. That's a lot of time. That is a huge amount of time. As, uh. Well, what can you say? We're going to bring up the scores. Deggy. What's up, my man? As, uh, scores don't really tell the story too much on Adonis. It's very, very frantic. Very, very close on the frags. Look at that. 45 to 44. Um, slight sway in the Axis um, side. 9.6k damage to 8.8. .8. Uh, Gibbs couldn't be really any closer than being exactly the same. Um, so, yep. Yeah, well played to both teams. I mean, I think... You have to take your hats off to, to Trick Jump, really just uh, grinding out that, that hold. Uh, six minutes nearly on the clock. 
if they don't get a time here, if they don't beat this time and win this map, then you can honestly say they probably didn't deserve it because they've given themselves such a good opportunity here. And uh, kind of like supply, if they get held up at one stage, if they get held up at this first stage for three, three and a half, four minutes, then I, I don't think they really deserve it in the end because they know what they have to do. It's not like uh, Demon, when you've got 10 minutes on the clock, when you're that first team attacking, it can sometimes be hard to really push yourself to get that big time. Whereas now, Trick Jump know what time they have to get. They know what time they have to be. It's 5 minutes 52. There's no excuses. I mean, the best teams generally will still motivate themselves. Um, Trick Jump. I think they're sort of breaking through into the ranks of the, the the better teams. They are doing quite well against some of the better teams. They just haven't really got any big results at the moment. And uh, I think they were Division 2 champions of uh, I think the Crossfire Tournament. And uh, they are included in that ET United tournament as well, so they've got some big teams to come up against, so they have uh, a couple of chances to pick up some big results, but they could force this game to a decider here today, Fight. as uh, we're going to see Hunter on the Panzer from the get-go. He's going to just roll out with the nade first, he's going to wait until they just come up, uh, so you're going to see him have a couple of Luger shots on towards the uh, rifle grenade, Yoko is taken down by Frag Stealer, and the Panzer is going to come out, he's not going to get a kill. And that was an easy one, that really should have uh, been an easy frag for him. The plant has gone down very early for Trick Jump. Brilliant stuff within the first 25 seconds. And then unless a defuse comes in here, this is a brilliant, this is going to be a really, really amazing first stage for uh, for Trick Jump. The respawners have started coming in. A nade has been propped over. Wood is trying to just hold back for as long as possible. And he played it very, very well. No damage is going to come in on him. Um, the frags are going to come in for Trick Jump and they are going to be able to clear it out as a lot of players kill out. But another Dynamite frag is going to come down. Serpes has got the Panzer frag off as well and they may be able to push through the spawn. So many frags coming in. Demon just all over the place. But I think there's going to be plenty of revives at the top of that ramp. As we see uh, Dyla just sort of camping out this ladder area. They've only got medics alive. Uh, Dyla and Jin just uh, sitting around uh, at the uh, ladder area. And it's going to be one more guy at the top of this uh, ladder. It is Jin. And so he saw that nade just sat at the top of the ladder as well. And uh, they've managed to hold it off for long enough. As you see, uh, Demon going to fall back to the documents. But there's the Trick Jump guys giving themselves all the time in the world. Four and a half minutes to get this uh, second stage. They just need to get their hands on that CP. The forward spawn, Belker, and I think that's Fragstealer maybe at the CP. Uh, Fragstealer has managed to pick up one. Belker in position with that rifle grenade as well. He's going to get taken down. Frag Stealer is going to come head face to face with Shaman, who's got a pretty good uh, frag. Brilliant triple headshot from Shaman. He does take down uh, Frag Stealer there and he's cleared out the CP. Brilliant double frag as he's going to push across the, the bridge. He's going to come up against Hunter as well. Nice um, support there from Edo from the, the pit area. Brilliant stuff from the Trick Jump players. They're going to move in on this uh, on this objective and uh, maybe clear it out slightly. They've got a couple of Demon players still alive. As you see, uh, three, two or three players, it's going to be Yoko on that objective. They haven't got the CP, and I think the uh, Demon players really should get into position at CP now. As uh, maybe not, because we, we have seen no Demon players in position, and a couple of allied players at the bottom of this ramp. Will we see the... Oh, we have seen what push through. He has managed to get there in time. Sebhes is all alone at, this, at these controls. Uh, the transmitter, sorry. Belka. Nice frags from Sebhes. He's going to be able to clear out. Yoko's going to come through with the objective. objective. And that's going to be 2-2. Two, two. What a brilliant push from Trick Jump. You can't fault them at all. That was that was an amazing push. And uh, that Shaman double kill at CP was very, very nice. As uh, we see. Now, okay, now let's play a real map. Well, I've, already, I've, I've said this a few times in the past. The best teams, the best teams can play every map. Uh, to to the highest ability and, and and realistically on paper you'd say demon really should win this map just based on where you say that their players are dialer frag still are some of the biggest names in polish enemy territory history you know when you think of the best players they're up, they're up there and uh but these trick jump players not you know no doubt respecting them but they're showing them how it how it's done 75 kills they out damage them on attack and uh, out frag them as well so we're gonna see um, some eliminations coming out as you see here and you'll see eliminations roll out on the screen I'm going to update the scores as well as, uh, it's going to be 2-2 we're going to see a decider and well I thought this game was going to be good I didn't think it was going to be this good I thought Demon probably would have taken the 4-0 
As you see the eliminations, here we go. Radar is out. Frost is out. Uh, gold out. So we're going to see Bremen, Missile, or Karsaya. And the smiley faces come out from Wood and Dyla. And uh, Karsaya has been dropped. And we're probably going to see Bremen as uh, the last map. Um, or will we see Missile? Will we see the Trick Jump team do a sneaky Missile? I think they'll probably want to do Bremen. Their experience will probably be there. I have said this in the past. If, you, if you're a top team and you can only play two or three maps in the map pool of like six to eight maps. And I've got some bad news for you. I've got some really bad news for you. I'm going to see Missile. And I'm going to tell you some Demon players are going to be... Uh, well, the saltiness is probably going to be real. So we're going to see uh, Demon starting on uh, on defense. And uh, let's see what version of uh, missile this is. Uh, just for, f for my ease. So the first stage is pretty much always the same. I think I'm the same on the second stage. I can't get to the third stage, can I? Can I go through? Yes. Uh, so here we go. This is where it really makes a difference. And it's uh, the, the new stage. No. It's the old version where the truck's outside. Um, but there is a push through in the lower area over here. Okay, so it's, I think it's V2. Is this version 2? I think there was a, a version 3 which was, uh, was near enough impossible. There was like a house in, in on the axis side. It was almost impossible to break down that last stage. Um, so we're going to see, like I say, Demon on the defense. And uh, this is the upper bracket semi-final. The winner of this game goes to the upper bracket final. When you go into the upper bracket final, you know... Come on, uh, You know you've uh, guaranteed yourself a top three finish in a tournament. It's uh, probably the goal of most teams, the big teams at least, uh, to try and cement themselves as a top three team regardless. They're obviously, every team wants to win. But to get into the upper bracket final, you know, like, you've got a very good chance of winning at this point. And if you, if you don't win, the worst you can do is third place, which isn't too bad. All things considered. That's the way I, that's the way I always, always viewed it. Whenever I got into the upper bracket final, I was happy enough. I knew from then on it was you know, a bit of fortune against you, a bit, bit of fortune for you could really change the tide. But if you managed to get into that upper bracket final, you knew that you cemented yourself as a top three team in that tournament. So it's, uh, it was a goal. I'm wait for two more players to ready up. There's a couple of trick jump players. She gives me a slight opportunity to just grab a drink. We'll be back in just 30 seconds, guys. Prepare to fight. Okay, here we go. So this is going to be Missile, the third map. The Decider. I don't think we'll see a double full hold here somehow. Oh, yeah. what, what, who knows? Who knows? It's actually going to be trick jump on the defense. They uh, they switch teams. And, uh, the first uh, the first push is coming out in this main area for Demon. They're going to go straight for the plant on this uh, d door area. As uh, I'm go free cam just to see the sort of progress they're making there. They're sort of again. This is, this is I think this is going to backfire a little bit on this map. Demon just taking their time a little bit, taking trying to. Force the opening, but it's not coming. Although, you see Hunter um, put, on, put on the speed there. Nice frag on the respawn. He's going to come up against Shaman as well. Will he be able to take him down? Oh, so unlucky. He got a couple of headshots in, and uh, I think Shaman only got some body shots. So Shaman must be very accurate. Belka bounces a rifle grenade off a teammate. Fortunately, it doesn't uh, kill him or a teammate as, as, as well. So. Uh, the Demon team is actually making a reasonable amount of progress in this first stage. Uh, can't see an engineer. As you see, actually, the plant goes down. Uh, brilliant nade comes in from Seb Hess, and no revive is going to come in as well. So, great recovery from Trick Jump. They did seem to be getting overrun on that first stage, so no plant for, for Demon. And it's just Dyla in the upper, upper area. He is going to be able to pick up that pistol frag before respawning. And uh, at the moment, Trick Jump holding on. They've managed to drain a, a, nearly a minute and a half off the clock. Too bad so far. Thank you very much for the follow. As we're going to see the next push coming in for Demon. Nice pistol work from Shaman there. 
He's going to try and take down the next player. It's not going to happen. Wood is going to be able to push into position. And the plant may come down. Will there be a panzer coming in his face? Or a I rifle? Like no, he does manage to get that plant down. It's going to be very difficult for the Bear Axis team to get the defuse in here. As, uh, you do see a couple of frags coming in. A couple of killouts as well. But uh, Demon are applying. Enforced. Dyla picks up a double kill. And it looks like Sepes is going to get dropped down as well. Brilliant double tap headshot. Double headshot from... Uh, from what is going to be able to take down uh, Sherlock there. And uh, it does look like Edo managed to push forward and get that frag in. I don't think they've got an engineer into position. Oh, brilliant play. Sebhes was supporting his engineer. Yoko managed to get that defuse in. But the double rifle nade does come in. What is going to try and get this next plant down? And he is going to get that plant down indeed. And as you see, a couple of trick jump players didn't even think that was going to happen. And decided to spawn back. So, uh... They've just managed to drain about, I don't know, I'd say about a 30 second time off, off the clock. Nothing amazing, but uh, it all counts, it all counts. Uh, if anything, it at least adds to the frustration, you know, there's that psychological side of the game that does always help as well, so. Another follow coming in, thank you very much, as the next stage is going to just be uh, defended a little bit. This CP area, I'm going to see uh, the Axis, already have set up the CP, but you're going to see the Allies streaming down this corridor. Uh, from this uh, side door here. I'm going to do their best. As you see, probably on the other side of this. A couple. Oh, only two. So they're going to push this way and go towards the CP. Or they're going to come out the main door. And there can be quite a big crossfire across this uh, courtyard towards that main door. But sometimes the Axis can sort of forget that they can come across that main door. And put too many people in this CP area. And, and it does look like they've got three guys in the CP area at the moment. I can't see their rifle grenade at the moment. Rifle is uh, Yoko, he did push forward. And uh, you're going to see Hunter push along the, the far side, no doubt, as uh, he is moving in towards the CP now. He does um, does manage to pick up a team frag, I think. Uh, it must be someone else who was pushing in towards the CP. And I'm going to try and pick up someone in the attack. It's Hunter and uh, one other player. Hunter's not going to be able to pick up that kill. He is taking down uh, Sherlock, long range MP40. He does uh, drop him, but it's going to be a three man push from Demon in towards the CP. Rifle Grenade's going to come out, nearly picks up that double frag, nearly a triple maybe. Belka didn't take too much damage. Brilliant rifle shots from Yoko, the, the, the angle of that, I think he's shooting off the roof. And uh, Yoko is going to be able to push forward and pick up that frag onto their Rifle Grenade. Belka is dropped down. Uh, no revive coming in for him. As uh, you're going to see Jin try and push in, he's got overwhelmed. Nice crossfire from the Axis. No, no uh, Gib comes in from Edo though, unfortunately Jin is going to be able to pick up that frag. And uh, frags going back and forth. A couple of more trick jump frags coming in, but revives from the uh, Demon team. Dyla picks up a double frag, and the Gibbs are starting to come in as well. Nice di a nice play from Dyla, but uh, reinforcements coming in for Demon. It is going to be a Kovi and a uh, and a and a engineer towards that CP, so they're going to be able to pick up that forward spawn. And now uh, it's going to be up to the Axis to set up the defense of uh, of this. Effectively, this I don't know what you want to call this. A, this effectively would be a transmitter. And you put the parts into here and it opens the doors after about four or five seconds. Um, they have got their hands on the objective. The objective normally goes the long way or underneath. As we see, uh, the objective is normally in this lower room here. As the demon team are starting to push forward. Uh, team kill nade does come out. Yoko fortunately does respawn back in. And we're going to see a lot of action in that upper area. A lot of, maybe some panzers. We do see a lot of panzer action on missile sometimes. And... Yoko ping a couple of grenades and rifle grenades up there. It's kind of easy to just, you don't even have to look. And just uh, throw a couple of uh, spam grenades in this room. Sometimes you get all the kills and be aware of uh, a couple of sneaky areas for the uh, for the allies. That lower area, of course, they have mined it up quite heavily. As you see, uh, the objective has, this was uh, pushing through into that area. It is a uh, hunter at the moment. Probably not the person I'd give the objective too, if I'm honest. I'd let him just, uh, I don't know what the word would, just, just just run riot. Just, uh, just unleash him, T take him off the leash and just say go. Because Hunter's one of them players that just like, can, can do a lot of damage, but he's, uh, I'm not sure how he would be on that uh, calculated and calm play, which you need to sort of have with the objective. Maybe it works, maybe he's gonna do that full risk jump for the objective and that can catch them out. Dial a big Panzerfaust takes down a couple on that respawn and it does look like they're going to start making their move. Hunter is going with the objective and this is what I meant. He's going to, he went very early. The objective has been returned as well and if they only waited just shot a little bit more they had two out for full. Uh, and again 10 seconds coming in before they respawn and the next respawn of allies is coming in as well. So I think he went a bit too early there. 
Uh, dial it in position once more with the Panzer. They are actually going to be able to get the uh, objective into position as another Panzer comes through for Dialer. And the gates are going to open, so not too much of a problem. Just slow down a little bit. As, uh, but if they would have got on that first push, they could have pushed through before the respawn of Trick Jump. And it does take a long time to build up this uh, this, uh, this control, the controls of this rocket here. As you see, Woods pushing across. He has got the backup of, of Frag Stealer. The spam has already started. It's going to be very, very arty spam this area. As it does need the charge of, I think, about one and... I think it's about 180% charge of uh, an engineer. So you need at least two to really get it done straight away. Dialer, another big double frag comes out. Two guys out for full spawn again. And it's going to be Sipes and Oyokul once more. Oyokul is going to be able to get picked up though. So it's not too bad. But those two guys stop holding hands as uh, they do seem to be grouping quite heavily. And, uh, the next push is coming in for the Allies. They haven't got too many players to deal with at the moment. Picking up quite a few frags. You're going to see what push across with players out. He is going to get quite a lot of the charge into the uh, controls. As you can see, it is going to take a little bit more time. He needs the backup of a second engineer. He has been taken down. No revive comes in either. A Panzer does come across with as uh, Edo is going to be able to dodge that. Uh, I think it was another two-man potential there for uh, Dyla. But so much charge is into this uh, control panel. It does reset after about 30 seconds. Nice artillery comes down from Edo. That's just going to cover the respawn of his own team. And uh, you're going to see him push out. And I'm going to go free cam. Really, really poor time free cam. Brilliant stuff. As uh, the controls are still able to be built up. No uh, engineer push forward in time as it just resets. So it's going to need uh, all the charge once more. As uh, 6 minutes 43 seconds left on the clock. And then we've got... Sherlock and uh, Serpes in this truck area. I did uh, like to play in, in this sort of area. And get some uh, nice angles from that truck. As you see, uh, an engineer push forward. Belka, even if he doesn't put too much into it, just taps it. Just puts a little bit of charge into it. There we go. Look, what nearly put um, quite a bit of charge into that one, I think. So I think it might be, I don't know, let's say 30% done. We might have one engineer manage to get this done all by himself now. Uh, Trick Jump doing a good job just holding them back. A full hold here would be golden. Uh, six minutes remaining on the clock. It isn't impossible for either team. Thank you very much for the follow again. As uh, Yoko tries to push forward for that cheeky face stab. Not going to happen as the next uh, push for, for Demon's going to come through. Uh, they have got quite a few players to deal with long range. And, uh, at the moment, not making too much progress. Double frag comes in for Yoko. And, uh, these guys are very grouped in this uh, in this room. I, I think it's very hard to Panzer because of the, the splash damage is a very poor in ET, and I think the splash damage off these wooden panels on the left hand side are actually yeah, almost uh, non-existent as well. So here comes the push for for allies. A brilliant Nate comes in from Shaman, but it's not going to be able to be enough. The objective has been picked up, and now those controls can't be destroyed as well. So we're going to see. Uh, it's going to be up to the Axis just to somehow slow them down because all the, all the allies have to do is get this objective here into the back of this truck. Sounds pretty easy, but it is actually much harder than it sounds. Uh, they've got to just time their pushes on the respawn. And you're going to see a bit of a, see a bit of a late artillery coming out from Sebes, but no one's really in position for allies anyway, so not too, too bad. You can see a nice headshots coming in from Sebes. An artillery comes in as well. Triple kill comes in for the Dutchman. Gonna have a couple more players to deal with. Kills coming out for Demon. He has eaten an aid. No, no uh, TK, uh, no Tilki, no Gib though. So the revive is going to come in. Yoko went very aggressive. Going to get a 10 second spawn there himself. So uh, this is going to be a small opportunity, I think, for Demon or Demon, as uh, Yoko just trying to revive a, an alive body. Uh, the objective is going to come towards the truck. Sipas has managed to be quite a lot of damage. It's going to be able to get in the back. 10 minutes 37. It's a, it's a reasonable time there. The first stages were actually pretty decent. Uh, they didn't take too long on the uh, the objective stage. Uh, how many stages are there? Uh, uh, what would you say? That's the second main stage where they have to get the objective from the courtyard through to the second courtyard to open the gates. They didn't take too long on that. And that one can sometimes be very hard to break down for an ally team. Um, this stage here. Uh, they got to the CP fairly quickly as well. So that last stage, it took them three or four minutes. The first stage again took them three or four minutes. But, uh, not too bad for Demon. I think it's probably advantage them in this uh, at this point. They just have to, like I say, they're in the position that that trick jump we're in on the Adonis. Uh, they know how long they have to defend for, and uh, I think they've got a slight upper hand. It is actually a pretty decent time, ten minutes. 
So I'm up the scores for you guys. And uh, looking at the stats, we see uh, Edo getting 22 frags. Oh, you're caught only five. He was playing at reviving medic at the truck. He did put in a lot of damage for someone who only got five kills. That's nearly 500 damage per kill. And if you know, if you know your damage, you know it only takes about 120 damage to get a kill. So what can you say as uh, Gibbs coming in? Double Gibbs, kind of what you expect. Slightly more kills. Uh, only only two and a half, three k damage more. So it was very equal on the damage. So it's so far it has to be said this game looks very even, and I didn't expect it to be this even. So uh, credit to credit to Trip Jump, I think, because Demon probably a team that a lot of people would have thought would have upper sort of like had the upper hand in this uh, in this matchup. Just. Uh, I'll just check games games TV to see how the betting was originally, and as you see, yeah, it was 1.17 to Demon compared to 6.74 to tri to Trick Jump. I think most people would have thought that uh, they had the upper hand slightly. So with uh, 10 minutes left on the clock, we're going to see. Oh, I think what was it 10 minutes or it was and and time, wasn't it? 10 minutes 37. Okay. So not too bad, ten and a half minutes. I think, uh, like I said, I think Demon have a slight advantage. But again, if if Trick Jump managed to get this first stage, particularly the first stage, if they get that after say like a minute and a half, two minutes, and then the second stage, if they're not held back too much there, if they've got, if they can attack that last stage with five minutes on the clock, that's when it's going to be like I think it's just a, it's going to be equal. I don't think they're really going to have the upper hand at that point. It's going to be equal, but at the moment. Um, Demon very much uh, in the driving seat. Still waiting on one player to ready up. You're getting a what's up. Prepare to fight. And the ready ups are going to come in. I'm going to see. Uh, let's see. Trick jump now. Attack. Ten minutes thirty-seven on the clock. Not a great deal of time. They can't really be held back too much on any stage. That last stage is definitely the highest to break down. So that these early stages are going to be very important for them to to get in early. You're going to see a big push coming on this left-hand side. A Panzer would be awful for these guys. And uh, you see a couple of players actually kill out, giving away the spawn time very, very early. And uh, these guys are in an awful position. Heavy crossfire from Demon. But they have managed to stay alive. As you see, Oyoko still trying to push forward. He has been taken down. Uh, nice revive work here from Sepes. They are making some progress as well. The killouts are going to come from Demon. And uh, you're going to see maybe a, a, a plant going down for the uh, for this trick jump team. I don't see a Panzer coming across, and maybe a flag has been the flag has been grabbed by the Allies in the opening 35 40 seconds amazing stuff from from trick jump i said if they got in a minute and a half they'd be in you know they'd be in a good place they got in 30 seconds this is incredible so uh demon really need to just uh find their feet here and so we're gonna see try and set up at the cp backstage and they are. We have got a couple of people in position at the CP. Kind of standard what we saw from from the uh, trick jump team as well. And uh, Demon. I can't see their rifle anywhere. Belka is at the back here, so they have got a four-man CP defense. I'm going to pick up Belka. He's in prime taken. position, and he might have the objective just picked up. Might just sneak through. Belka has uh, rotated around, trying to slow this down. Yeah, he's taking a bit of gunfire. And uh, we're going to try and pick up Sebhes. Where is he? He is pushing through. He's in the upper area. He's got Shaman for backup. They can actually get through on this. Oh my god. Unbelievable stuff. No. He has managed to do it. This is incredible. Uh, Trick Jump have just run over. Run over Demon, uh, Demon here. They're going to have nine minutes on the backstage. I said if they had five minutes it would be equal. This is definitely advantage Trick Jump here. And Demon just all over the place. How can they not know Missile? How can they not know Missile? Even I know Missile and I don't really play ET. As we see the push come for the last stage. and This is going to have to be an impossible defense now. 
This is going to have to be an impossible defence. How have they managed to... <sighs> mind blown. Mind, mind absolutely blown right now. And you're going to see Trick Jump get the engineers in position for this backstage. Oh, you're cool. Getting some backup from, from a couple of the uh, medics. Dyla picking up a triple kill. As, uh, the spam is going to come down. I, I, need, I need to get myself just settled now because this is just uh, this is annoying me how, how can how can they not defend this they should have they should have at least put a couple minutes in that's in one minute in one and a half minutes basically they lost it all in the backstage and that wasn't like brilliant play from trick jump it was just well enough said as you're going to see a, a lot of frags coming in for trick jump they're going to maybe start maybe moving across the respawn has come in of demon and uh, they are set up at this uh, this truck bay, truck area as uh, we saw Trick Jump doing exactly the same. Nice rifle comes in from Belka. He's gonna get one kill in. And, uh, and a, a bit of a poorly placed artillery. The uh, engineers kind of sneak around the side just a little bit. As I'm gonna pick up someone on the attack. Uh, rifle grenade does come in and not gonna be able to pick up a kill. Uh, they've got a couple of engineers now. I think it's Sherlock and. Uh, Oh, you're cool. Sure, clock. Uh, made short work of there. He did get killed insta gibbed by the rifle grenade as well. Dyla in this off area is just uh, playing a bit of a lurky position. So waiting until people run past him to kill them. Or like uh, shooting across. Nice long range shooting there from uh, the frag steer. Doesn't pick up the double frag, but it puts on a lot of uh, damage towards two players. Big mass kill out from the allies. And that can sometimes backfire. Nice placed artillery. I do like that artillery from Sebhes. As you're going to see, uh, the guys at the truck have to force out a position. They're going to move across to the controls themselves. As uh, it can sometimes backfire again. You're going to see a couple of guys from Axis go a bit more aggressive than what they have been. And uh, what's in position, putting on a lot of damage. Brilliant shot from what I think his uh, grenade must have done a little bit of damage as well. I don't think he got a headshot there. As uh, at the moment, Demon not doing too bad. Their second, this last stage defense, two and a half minutes. And. Uh, I'd say the last stage is probably the easiest to defend. You don't have to think too much. It's very much just to defend that thing and defend the truck. Simple, simple as as uh, you're gonna see trick jumper uh, struggle a little bit. Lots of frags coming in for demon, and uh, trick jump just needs to settle. If they wanna if they wanna secure this win, which I, I would say they probably should, because that, those first two stages came very quick for them. Uh, you're going to see Rocky Balboa start pushing across as it's uh, Sherlock. Uh, he's got backup from uh, Sepes. Just coming a bit too uh, face to face with uh, his team, his, his enemy there. He's to try and uh, be a bit more covert in his pushes. And, uh, the crossfire from Demon right now is actually very, very strong. As Jin picks up a couple of frags in this lower area. Nice artillery comes down on the objective as well. And uh, regardless of the killouts or the, the kills that Demon have had to have, they're gonna be uh, they're gonna have that artillery just covering their backs a little bit. And the five minute clock has uh, come out. Yoko's gonna be able to get in that frag. He's gonna get in quite a lot of damage onto that second medic as well. But I think he should get taken down. Dylan is gonna be able to get that kill. And no engineers in position for the uh, for the allies, unfortunately. As you're gonna see a double frag coming from Edo. The Axis are starting to go quite aggressive. Oh, your call's going to be able to push across. He's going to just put in some charge. As uh, the artillery's going to come down, it's going to take him out, surely. Oh, brilliant revive, brilliant revive. And that's going to be able to um, get the, the controls built up. Brilliant stuff. Those They, they risked it all. Triple artillery comes in. I'm not sure who the uh, engineer, uh, who the medic was. I'm going to say it was Sebhes. Brilliant stuff from Sebhes. Puts his life on the line, gets the revive on one of the engineers. So they've got four minutes and ten seconds just to run the objective from the from that truck, uh, from the uh, rocket into the truck, and they might do it already, as you see Sebhes trying to run across, he is getting it taken down, Hunter gets that double frag in, nice nice play from Hunter, and this is going to be, like I say, almost impossible um, for uh, for Demon, they were fa facing the impossible already, they managed to defend that stage for 4 minutes, not too bad, but again they've got to defend it now for another 4 minutes, and uh, they've, got, they've got to shoot amazingly well, the spam has to be on point as well. Oh, your call has been a bit uh, sneaky. He has tried to sneak through. Maybe get his hands on the objective here. Just use the use button, sir, as uh, he's going to get touch the objective. He's going to try and run towards the truck. It's not going to happen. Dialer in position at that truck area to get in that frag. So the 
The Axis doing enough at the moment. 3 minutes 20 on the clock. Uh, the Allies just need to get together as a team at the moment. They're kind of fragmented. They're pushing in. Now you've got one pushing up. You have one out for full spawn. And you've got two pushing in low and two pushing in tunnels. And I think they need to get an artillery on that truck. Just clear it out. Nice. This is a nice push though from, uh, from Edo. And he's going to be able to take down this... Uh, Filled up maybe for quite a long spawn. Nice shooting from Edo onto Wood as well. Nearly takes him down. But the time is running out for the uh, for the trick jump team. And at the moment, uh, team are not looking too bad for this uh, for this hold. And not too much being asked of them since the build. They've uh, got their hands on the objectives, but shut down almost instantly every time. Here comes the push though, Yoko. Pushing across, he's going to get the frag onto Belka. Brilliant stuff, but Belka does put out that, that airstrike. Nice long range shooting from Yoko. Airstrike does come down, Belka picks up that frag. As uh, the objective is going to get run towards the uh, the car. Brilliant stuff from Belka. I think he picked up three or four frags there. It was a triple frag for him. I think Hunter again as well. One, two for Hunter. So nice stuff so far from, from Demon. And time is running out for Trek Jump. And they must get, be getting nervous. It's in that position where you know you, you, have a, you have a win in your grasp. And you just have to take it. You just have to take the opportunity. Not a lot of time left. Nice shot from Shaman. Look at that tracking. Brilliant stuff. As he's going to get a lot of damage onto the next player as well. He's waiting for support of his team. He's not letting himself be uh, seen too much. As uh, he's going to put on some damage towards these guys in the... Uh, in the upper, like, I don't know what you want to call that there. Balcony. Pit. Hole. In the hole area. Old MG42 area. He is going to get taken down. Seb is going to push back for this revive. And they may be able to get their hands on the objective here. Oh, you're cool. Has got here. Objective in hand. Seb has now trying to push forward. And here's come that mass crossfire. They need to just get some kills in. And 1 minute 25 seconds on the clock. This is, uh... This is heart in your mouth stuff at the end of this game. 1 minute 20 left. Like I said, they need to just push through the team. A Panzer would be vital. I want to see that artillery on the truck for the Allies. They know what they're doing. Seb has did that before. Um, but you can see one player in position at that truck. Objective Here's Belka. Shaman just trying to run it home. Maybe it's just a, a sneakier play would just be to run away with it. Just try and get into the cave or something. As uh, a couple of the Axis are set up. Less than a minute to go. This is... Uh, Gonna be clutch stuff for either team right at the end of this game. Uh, really nice finish to a to a very very tight game so far. So you see the allies stop moving across. A lot of artillery is going down on the objective controls. Uh, the objective has been uh, secured here. 30 seconds remaining. One real big push for trick jump, and uh, the kills are starting to come in for trick jump. They are pushing forward. The, the guys in the hole in the wall are the last few remaining. It's going to be Sebhes and Shaman. Shaman with the nade in his hand. Is he going to be able to slow it down? Shaman puts the nade down. The objective has been secured. The strike has dropped down. It is going to be able to get in the back of the truck. It's going to be Sherlock with the win. What a finish. Unbelievable stuff. 10 minutes 29 against 10 minutes 37. Woo! What a finish to this game. And that is tight as hell. You couldn't really get tighter than that. Oh my lord. I'm going to need literally a minute breather. And in a minute breather, I'm going to update the scores on the front screen. Well, that is going to be a 4-2 to two win for, uh, for Trick Jump. And this, they're going to be going on to the upper bracket final. Cyber Gamer Season 3, 6-on-6. Six six. What a game. As uh, so we're going to update the scores on the front screen. Brilliant stuff.